Now, I'm sorry if this video feels rushed. Normally, I don't try to rush information like this, but this is breaking news. And mostly because of Leandro on Twitter. I've talked about this guy before. He's super helpful. He's been data mining a bunch of information and he has officially found Jump Force Season 2. It's almost definitely happening. Just to quickly explain why this is the case, there have been three new characters found. Characters are sorted by index numbers inside of Jump Force. So the characters we're looking at right now are character ID number 1110, 1120, 1130. 1110 is almost definitely Krillin. The reason for that is because he has a Destructo Disc animation. It's definitely Destructo Disc. Uh, the question is whether it's Android 18 or whether it's Krillin. Personally, I think it just looks like Krillin. There's a possibility it could be Android 18, but pretty sure it's going to be Krillin. Character ID number 1120 doesn't have a lot to go off of. The animations aren't necessarily distinct to a specific character. I've talked to a bunch of different sub communities of the anime community trying to figure out what animations this matches. None of us can come up with a character that suits these animations directly. When you look at this animation, it very much looks like a Bakugo animation, but it shouldn't theoretically be Bakugo because Bakugo's animations are in his own folder. And I'll also mention this. Remember how we played with Bakugo's moveset before using some data mine stuff? Bakugo had a lot of Deku animations and he also had a lot of All Might animations. I think the way that Spike Chunsoft works with these characters is they start with a base, they'll take a character, they'll copy and paste it and just adjust it from there. Smash Brothers does the same thing, funnily enough. Piranha Plant I believe was built off of somebody, I forget, Bowser Jr. I believe was the character he was built off of. I think the same thing might be happening here. Whatever character this is, I think was used with Bakugo as the base, which is why we have that Bakugo style animation we were just talking about. Now this animation, this looks like Shoto Todoroki to me. You can kind of see what I'm talking about, right? On the right hand side, he would have his ice and on the left hand side, he would have his fire. On the right hand side, it looks like he's warming up or not warming up, I guess he would be cooling down to do a big ice attack similar to this animation here from Once Justice. I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is Shoto Todoroki because it's so inconclusive and the animations are so generalized. There's nothing like character defining in here, but as of right now, I think Shota Todoroki is the most likely character to be character number 1120. But who cares about Krillin? Who cares about Shota Todoroki? 1130 is Uraraka. Ochako Uraraka, baby. I am so, so, so happy if this ends up being real. Now, of course, there is no conclusive evidence for this, but when you load up the character's animations, you can find some really interesting things. So the first character we tried these animations, I say we, it was all Leandro. Whenever I say we, just picture Leandro in your head because I actually didn't do anything, but he's been kind enough to share this information with me. Now, the animation he first showed me was a picture of Goku doing a very Uraraka style pose. And at first I didn't get my hopes up. I was just like, it kind of looks like what Uraraka does, right? But the pose was a little bit off and it didn't quite look right to me. He showed me this other pose of the same character getting excited, kind of in like a battle stance ready thing. And none of this was conclusive to me, even though those two animations seem to fit Uraraka just fine. The big thing that sold it for me is that he made a compelling case for the character being fairly short. When you use the same animation on a different character, a character that's much shorter, a character that should be the, roughly the same height as Uraraka, when you try the same animation on Deku, the hands actually connect, which means that this animation is supposed to be on a smaller stature character like Uraraka. The animation that this is tied to goes something like this. The character reaches down to the ground, touches something around the ground, and then goes back up into a neutral standpoint where they press their hands together. On top of that, Leandro has informed me that the move functions like a beam. Think like a Kamehameha. So what I think what's happening here is that Uraraka is getting down to the ground. She's going to press the ground and then rubble is going to fly up behind her. And then she's going to press her hands together and all that rubble is going to fly at the enemy. Even though that's not quite how her ability works, I think that when you put Uraraka in a fighting game, you do kind of have to take some liberties of the way that her quirk works. And we saw Once Justice do that and I think we would see Jump Force do that as well. And honestly, this pose right here should be conclusive enough. If a Jump Force Season 2 truly is in the works, and based on these game files, it does look like Season 2 is a thing that's going to happen, 
I would wager money that Krillin and Uraraka are going to be a part of it. I'm not so confident on Shoto Todoroki, although I'm probably more confident than most people, but it is really exciting again to be able to talk about potential characters coming to Jump Force. Ever since the initial data mine, it was kind of like we didn't really have anything to hope for, but now the hopes are back on the table because it looks like season two is happening. And on top of that, Uraraka is the character I'd probably pick out of any other character to make it into the game. And it looks like she's going to be here. And I am very excited about it. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it informative or you appreciate me bringing you this early information, make sure you go thank Leandro and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with this content. My name is Mdilbzy and I'll see you in the next video.